Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, February 13th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. When you live in Florida, you understand all too well how devastating Mother Nature can be during hurricane season. Honestly, it's hard to overstate how humbling it is to come face to face with one of the most powerful natural forces on the planet. But I'll tell you what, being on a figure international stage with Sandro Grajales isn't a whole lot of fun either. Without an Arnold defending champion in the lineup, Sandro is going to be one of the early favorites to make a push for the title next month. So if she comes in and looks like the same force of nature we've seen in the past, it's going to be hard for the judges to keep her out of the first call out. Now, at the top of the Physique International race, the picture is awfully cloudy in its own right. We've got Nathalia Coelho coming back to defend her title, Sarah Villegas trying to capitalize on the momentum she built at the Olympia, and right behind those two is Margita Zamalova, who might be the most underappreciated athlete in the field. People seem to forget that Margita's been a top-tier Olympian for the last two seasons. And let's not discount the fact that she finished third at the International back in 18. She's a big-time talent that no one seems to be talking about, but she could easily end up winning the whole damn thing. We're going to stick with our women's contender theme today by focusing on the fitness division, which also won't have the defending champion in the lineup this year. Now on paper, that opens up the door for Missy Truscott, who comes into the event as the number two ranked athlete in the world. Missy's been so good over the last two years that it's almost amazing when you look at her resume. She's competed 11 times since 2018 and only finished out of the top four once during that run. But here's the kicker, the eighth place blemish, and we put that in quotations, came at the Border States Pro where she made her figure debut. Missy Stock has done nothing but trend upward for basically 100 consecutive weeks, which makes her a clear favorite no matter which way you want to look at it. The bikini division is a little harder to predict than the other three because we've got a clash between titans at the top. Issa Pacini will be making her first appearance since she won the Olympia title last fall, but she'll be staring down the barrel at defending bikini international champ Janet Leigh and Angelica Teixeira, who has three Olympia and two Bikini International titles of her own. And if all of that doesn't even take Ashley Kaltwasser into account, who may or may not be competing depending on the eye surgery she had two weeks ago. If everything holds served, this could be the most decorated lineup we've ever seen on paper. And that, my friends, means we're in for one hell of a weekend. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.